Before we get into this AMC stock video, I want to ask you guys to do a huge favor for me and follow my new channel, Stock Market Madness. From time to time, YouTube suppresses some of my AMC videos on this channel, so I will be posting more exclusive AMC videos on my new channel as time goes on. If you guys have been here for a while, you know I never take sponsors and I never try to sell you anything. I just make good content about the stock that we all love. So please subscribe guys, it's the first link in my description. The floor is 2 million, meaning I will not sell a single share for less than 2 mil. What's with the 500k? How many synthetics do Kenny and friends have to buy back? Neither we or them know the sky's the limit. If, if you short a stock at $10, it can't go lower than zero. So you can't make more than 10 bucks per share on the trade. But there's no ceiling on the stock. You could sell the stock at 10 and be forced to buy back at 20, 200, or 2 million. And if you guys aren't aware of this, this is pretty basic short selling information, but it's very, very important to realize what's at stake here. The short percentage of the float means the percentage of shares available for trading that are currently being held short. And with AMC stock, there is a huge amount of the overall float that is being sold short, and it has been for over a year now. Anything above 10% is at least noteworthy. At one point, more than 100% of GameStop's float was sold short, an excessively high number, meaning every single share that was available to be borrowed was sold short, and some were even borrowed multiple times. So understand how this works, guys. Understand the upside potential here. Understand the downside potential. Understand the entire play and know what it's worth to you. AMC is continually becoming more stable financially and evolving to pros prosper another 100 years. They are holding down APE and HYMC and AMC to make less money. But they are fighting and losing a battle on several fronts. Buy, hodl, and remain patient. Zen is on the way, apes. There's a lot of correlation in this, guys. Check out this tweet. It says, if a thief steals your wallet, with $1,000 and is caught, the police give back the $1,000 to you and the thief gets jail time or a large fine. In the stock market, when a thief is caught, the thief pays $10 fine to the police from your $1,000, keeps the rest, and is free to steal again. So this is correlating to exactly how the fines take place to many hedge funds that have committed fraud or other things in the past. Let's say, for example, a bank or a hedge fund gets caught committing fraud for $50 million or $50 billion. A lot of times we're seeing these exact funds hit with like a half a million or $2 million fine, and then business is back to usual. How does that logically make sense in any sort of universe? 